Hey, Leo shifters. Welcome to the shift. What is happening? There we go. We have a candle. Hi. Happy everything. Welcome. You know the drill. Sip of coffee. Second cup of coffee for the day, which I don't usually do. Normally I only have one cup of coffee a day, if any. So today I felt like having two. You don't care about that. <laughs> hey, I'm just making a conversation. What if you're new? There should be some form of introduction, no? My name is Morgane. Hi, what is your name? Who are you? I mean, I know you're Leo, which means you're already cool by default. You have the, the cool default. I'm working with the uh, Dragon's Tarot. They are so pretty. How did this happen? I don't remember putting this ring on. I remember putting this ring on. I don't remember putting this ring on. Maybe I need garnet. Okay then. What is your messages for this coming month? It looked like one card and it turned out to be three cards. Ooh, fascinating. Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Devil. Wow, Leo. Someone is absolutely addicted to their independence. There is... really deep engraved systematic behavioral pattern that was a long sentence in which they are not even close to be free of they're still battling a lot of Demons, fears. Unmet needs. This is someone with incredible amount of unmet needs. They could have, maybe they grew up with negligence. They were neglected. Um, and it just kind of continued that cycle of dynamics, relationships, situations in which they were not nourished. This is someone extremely undernourished. And I don't mean food-wise. They could look amazing. Could They could be, if anything, this is, you know, this is someone who could be very, very um, attractive physically, physically fit, physically healthy, strong. Um, this is inner. This person was deprived of love for a very long time. I don't think this person really knows what it feels like to truly be loved, like unconditionally or in a simple, consistent manner by normal, balanced, healthy individuals. There's deep wounding here. Um, and they are in fierce independence. I don't think there's something this person can't do on their own or... They're not wired to think that anyone can help them or would help them. It's like... Whew. Now, because these are general readings, Leo, of course you can re reverse any roles. Uh, this could be you if you re if you really resonate with everything I just said. Take it for yourself. Uh, you be discerning. You know yourself best. Um, I'm just I'm picking up on this as an exterior energy, but again, you know best how it applies to you. Okay. 
this could be someone that is also really guided by material um, needs. This is not necessarily, okay, it's not, I'm thinking of, it's not superficial. It's not greedy. It's, uh, again, it's, it's based in unmet needs. Like this person could have experienced poverty, loss, hunger, like... I'm picking up on deprivation, being deprived on several levels, emotional, um, safety. Like this person did not grow up feeling safe. They had to um, vigilantly create safety for themselves. They've dealt with really difficult energies, malicious energies, malicious people, malicious intents. They've been scapegoated. They've been used, they've been manipulated. And you know what? The pure, the heart, the pure, the spirit, the more prone you are to endure such things because darkness is really drawn to light because it needs it, right? So the brightest you shine and I mean, from your heart, from your, you know, from your sincerity, your authenticity, your spirit. Um, the more you draw in energies that are toxic, demanding, using. Now, this person internalized it. They didn't. One of the ways to survive in this world, in this world of duality, of cause and effect um, is by passing it along. It's not healthy and it's not positive, but it's, it's, it's in way of survival for lack of a better option or for lack of not knowing how to do it any better. It's when something happens to you or is taken from you. And so in order to uh, cope with it, you just pass it along. You don't hold on to the pain or the energy or the situation. You just, you do it to someone else, right? You know, like the, the hurt people hurt kind of thing. It's actually an energetic process because most of us are, don't really know how to work with source and with anima mundi when it comes to um, working through energy and healing. So we do the next thing that is available and it's default, which is, passing it or passing it around, right? So you get hurt, then you hurt someone else. You have something done to you, you do it to someone else. And, and that way, the energy of it, now, it's terrible, I'm not saying it in ways of like, that's how it should be or that it's good, but, but it is a default programming for the human mechanism that we default to when we don't know how to do it otherwise. So what I'm picking up is that this person didn't pass it along. They they kept it in because they didn't want to do to another what was done to them. And they were always very conscientious and self-observant. But they also didn't have the capacity to give it to spirit or to release or to heal it. So it just stayed. They didn't let go of it. They didn't pass it along. It just stayed. Um, so this person kept it with them and during this and this and this and this and that, they did turn it into energetic power, knowledge, understanding, uh, experience, uh, what things to avoid, how to utilize anyone else that once they're learned, right? How to make the next person who tries to pull something like that on them, okay, how, how do they work with it now? But so they did translate it into something, but it wasn't an, an emotional healing like translation or um, coping. It, it, so the emotional pain stayed. And it was a, it's an act of self uh, sacrifice. I don't know how to heal, 
I don't know how to accept energy from source, but I also don't, don't want to put it on anyone else and continue the cycle of pain. So I'm just going to stay with it. It's like... Now, in turn, what happens, they grow into this soil, fertile soil, um, fertilizing kind of energy because all of that, all of that negative energy that stayed inside of them that they suffer from, the only constant is change. Nothing ever remains stagnant. So it, it was just evolving and transforming and transmuting inside of them, inside their energetic system. And it literally turned into very powerful fertilizer. So now this person is serving as a healer, a leader, a guide, a teacher, whatever, an inspiration, a catalyst. But they're still deeply wounded and in pain. They never managed to give themselves the nourishment that they need, which is incredibly rare. Like this is someone that doesn't take from others, doesn't take from source, from the infinite source of energy. They take from the energy that was thrown at them, that was negative and hurtful, and they inside like transform it. So this is, this is an alchemist of some sort, or a, or a witch, or a... They find a loop, they found a loophole, an energetic loophole, as to how to turn this energy into something positive. The downside to it is, is that they're still not nourished. They're not receiving anything from anyone. They're not receiving anything good. They've received a lot of bad turned it into nourishment for others but it's like where are they i'm trying i'm trying to find them in this store i'm trying to find their psyche their heart um all this from three cards wow leo is this you let me know or is this someone you know Oof. get the chills not from them this is this is miraculous i don't know how they did it they're like um they're like um an abnormality of nature but in a in a very in a good way like it's not for them it's not good for them This is someone that managed to operate outside the laws of um, physics. Like they, because um, again, it's like they were in catch 22. Like the only alternative, okay, I can't get from source. I can't get from others. No one is giving me anything. What's the alternative to become a terrible, um, pained person who hurts others? No, so creating a new form of existence. This is like a very rare diamond type of spirit, very rare pearl type of spirit. I bet it's so lonely. I'm so sorry if this is you, but hopefully it gives you a, a peek into what happened to you. Not everyone should resonate with this. Be honest with yourself. If it's if it's truly you. Um, or again, first they picked up with someone else that you're dealing with, um, that you're asking about. 
because you you can't pinpoint them and you're very uh, perceptive or very intuitive and you're like how can I not pinpoint them it's not from a place it's not like you I don't think that you're trying to necessarily put them in a box or something limiting like that it's not a societal conform conformity uh, le level of trying to understand them it's it's like you go deeper than that and you still can't really place them in anything you've ever seen before If there was a thing like trajectory to to angel um, job, this person is on it. But it's like it's like they've created this dimension that is separate separate from the Newtonian laws of physics that we're familiar with. It's um, but it's also not a part of the, the spiritual dimensions, the other ones that we're familiar with. It's like, again, it's like an energetic loophole, cosmic bubble. Okay, let's pull more cards, I guess. Show me more about this story, please, for my Leo. Um, seekers, seers, shifters. Knight of Wands has been coming up nearly in every reading, I feel like. Feels a little bit. It's almost like this Knight of Wands is a somehow stumbled upon this person, and it's like they're in way over their head. And it's like it's almost like a, a traveler accidentally falling into a I don't know, finding themselves in a cave and then discovering like an archaeological artifact that is super ancient that they can't even begin to. To understand it's something so above and beyond. Like that's why it's not it's 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 hard to pinpoint or to understand, but there's genuine curiosity coming from this Knight of Wands. Um, sincere form of exploration into the human spirit. Like this knight is curious and is genuine. They don't mean harm, but let's see what else. Okay. Eight of Wands, King of Wands, um, who else just had, Cancer just had King, Knight and King of Wands in their reading. The Chariot, speaking of Cancerian humans, Two of Wands and Eight of Cups. We now have three eights on the table and the Devil, very karmic energy. No, karma is not the right word I'm picking up. Okay. Uh, the energetic loophole. Eight of Wands, King of Wands, the Chariot, Two of Wands, and Eight of Cups. There's someone here with very strong desire. So Leo, this could be you with very strong curiosity and desire towards this person. And it's like, it, um, it really triggers you into movement, into wanting to go for something and do something out of the ordinary. Like either this person or this situation really inspires you to explore this type of energy or personality and learn more about them. And you're willing to like go to great length and extents of, you know, of journey. 
to learn everything there is to learn about what it is that they do or, or, or about them. Um, I feel like they, they are serving as an unintentional uh, mentor for you. Like it's not something that they do on purpose or intentfully. It's just their, their existence or their energy, you know, really like pushes you to action or to, it's like they they open your mind to how complex life can be, right? how warped energies can be. And, and it's like you want to understand it and you want to experience it. You but but you want you want to learn through your feet. Uh, you want to experience this. You want to like spend time with them. You want to go to the places that they go to. You want to have the experience that they're they're experiencing. And it's like but this if you if you this will take you very um uh, very far like this you might not recognize yourself after like on the other side of this tunnel you won't recognize yourself like if you choose to go this eight of cups here uh, very underworld energy if you choose to take this um, path and pursuing this person this you 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 will never be the same sorry I have to sneeze <coughs> Wow. When this person um, figures out how to turn their um, beneficial energy towards them and, and also benefit from it. I feel like they'll become something really big in the world. Like I'm top, tapping into something very special. Um, so this not my, maybe this is not for many of you and that's okay. Um, even if this reading does not apply to you or to anyone you know, you can learn so much from this. You know, don't don't be here, especially if you knew if you've been here if you've been here for a while you know this about me by now. But especially if you're new, don't don't be here for the sake of the narrative. I mean, there is a narrative that I do foresee with the cards for the coming month. Great, truly great. It's cool, but it's not really about that. Like you can find very deep teachings and messages really in all of my videos, regardless of what sign you are, regardless of when the video was uploaded and for what time frame it was uploaded. Uh, that's why I'm going to begin creating videos that are for the next month, but also timeless, because even though the narrative might apply to the next month, it could also apply to any other time. Um, and regardless, I incorporate other teachings in my readings that are timeless and always relevant so or that you can learn from and grow from so really honestly if you want to do some fun random things and just scroll past in past readings you'll see that there's something there in every reading again it could be a different sign from you it could be you know if you feel uh, intuitively guided to press play on something go for it you never know what's there for you um and take that as, and apply that to all my readings honestly um, I'm not just saying that to make you watch other readings, although of course that would be fun, but it's it's just the truth of what I do. It's just, it's how it is. Anyway, if you go after this person, and when I say after this person, I don't mean like chasing them or getting something out of them, but in, in ways of like, um, if you have the, the option to, if they accept you, if, of integrating your life into their, your path into their path, even just temporarily, um, this is not someone, this is not, this can never be in retrospect, a random encounter or just someone that you hung out with. This will be, this will change your life. This will completely put you on another, the chariot is, is a, is a, um, it's the Merkaba. Merkaba 
in Hebrew is chariot. It's 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 a vehicle of transition for to the soul. Kabbalah is um, the Jewish mysticism, the esoterica, and the chariot is considered to be the vehicle for the soul. Hi, the body. You can look at it as as such, but when you have the chariot in a reading, it's not just about a physical journey or a car or victory. It is about these things, absolutely. But depending on the environment and the re of the reading um, and the interaction with the other cards, it 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 pertains to a transition of your consciousness into another realm and getting a sneak peek or even just moving there or moving through it. Like it's, it's, it's a big spiritual process, you know, the chariot card. Um, it, 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 it speaks of the polarities, right? The black and the white, the yin and the yang dragons here, or sphinx or horses, every tarot deck um, features another animal, but it's two very opposing forces that are pulling you in different direction and it, it challenges you, forces you even to pick a path that is based on your free will and free spirit and, and, and lead the horses and the chariot in that direction without waiting for a sign or for confirmation and what karma has to say and what your spirit guides have to say. No, you're the, you're the God. You're the spirit. You're the creator. You write the narrative and act and act it in the world, right? So this is, re recent readings have been very powerful. I feel like a lot of you are really stepping into your power. A lot of my shifters are like, they're just, it's, it's, maybe it's the portal, of, maybe it's this eclipse season portal. There's going to be a new moon in Scorpio at the end of the month with a solar eclipse in Scorpio, and then followed two weeks later by an eclipse in Taurus and the full moon in Taurus, and I think it's going to serve as a portal for a lot of you into depths that you didn't even know existed. I mean, you're already deep by virtue of being here, right? I'm already a fan of you, <laughs> but even more. So keep in mind, when you pursue this adventure, or this connection, this path, you won't be the same person. And if this is you here that I spoke of in length in the beginning of the video, go to the unknown. Go to the unknown where you'll possibly find a way to receive energy from a source, to be loved by others truly, and to enjoy your healing um, your extraordinary healing abilities yourself as well and be nourished. It's really, this person really needs to be nourished. It's almost like if there is a God, then God is mad that such a special child of them is so under treated like that. I don't, I don't even, it's not right. Abandoned by people, abandoned by spirit, abandoned by self. There's just... And they didn't turn to the dark. That's incredible. It's very rare, if even not possible, to see someone who's constantly abandoned on all walks of life, from all, from all of these things, by all of these things, and not turn to the dark. Like... Like this level of deprivation, it's almost inevitable, but to find oneself, oneself in a very dark place. They, they couldn't see any source of light, so they created a new source of light. If it's you, I want to know, comment. Um, if you want to study tarot for me and deepen your esoteric studies, check out Patreon. Over here, you have uh, unlimited streaming of my tarot masterclass, Bunkai Study the Secrets of, Secrets of Life through Studying the Secrets of Tarot with me. It's a monthly membership that you can cancel anytime, and it's a, an, a, an affordable way to have access to my classes. 
Otherwise, you can also find it on Vimeo for separate purchasing, just depends on what you prefer. Everything is below in the description box as well as well. Um, I love you. If you're new, join the existential shift. Uh, if you're here, it's time. Give this the like and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.